Hello, GPS Kevin here. Hey, I'm going to give you a video here about how to make track logs using MapSource for awesome motorcycle adventures. So uh, let's see. So fire up your MapSource. Here is MapSource itself. And the first thing you're going to want to do is, well, take a look through MapSource and see all the neat tools. So see this toolbar up along the top here. Some of you may not have that, and that's because you'll have these parameters unchecked. Notice I've done a right click here in this toolbar, and you can add the different tools that you want. Uh, like, for instance, if I take the Find tool away, it just disappeared, and we'll put the Find tool back in there. Uh, so anyway, I like mine configured in this particular manner with View, Transfer, Tools, Find, and Track Edit. Uh, so uh, we're going to be using those. So I have here clicked the hand. You can hold the cursor down and move the uh, window back and forth here. And so let's make a practice log in the Ridgecrest area. Um, we're going to take the zoom in tool. We'll zoom in near Ridgecrest and we'll figure out how to make a great ride here. So um, what I'm going to do is make track logs in two different forms and utilize and show you how to edit them and so I'll utilize some existing track logs that I have. So to do that I'm going to open a second window of map source. So let's go over here and find the file I want. It's, it's The name of the file is actually going to be Desert Lasagna. That's a ride that's coming up real soon. So we'll open up Desert Lasagna and we see the file has all of these different uh, track logs in it. It looks like it has uh, six track logs and nine waypoints here. Um, you click on the different tabs. So to just view all the track logs, I'll highlight. So I'll choose one, go to the last, push shift, choose another, and we'll show those. Right click again, show those on, show those selected tracks on map. That's what it looks like. Okay. And for our example today, I'm going to actually take three of these. So I'm going to copy three and from this window and bring them to the other. So I'm going to do that by taking the selection tool. I could choose them individually and copy, but I'll take this selection tool and I'll just sort of highlight around. That's the one I want. And I'm going to push copy here and then take it into my other map source window. Here's the other map source window. Edit, paste. There they are in this in this new window that we want. Okay. So the other thing you'll notice is there is the different maps. Turns out I have a lot of maps here, but we're going to scroll down now and turn on the topo background map, the 24K West here. Then we're going to zoom in. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to use, actually let me zoom back out for a minute. I'd like to take and make a ride where I use part of this track and we'll come over here and then we'll go down this sand wash here and we'll intersect in this track and then from here we'll make a new track going home okay and so let's figure out how to do that first off let's create this track going down here so we're going to zoom in and you can see the blue line is the sand wash here so we'll zoom into this and I'll come over here and I'll say edit give me a new track uh, when it does that, this window pops up, and we'll actually make the color, let's make the color cyan that we're going to go here. We'll say, it says, press OK to begin drawing. We'll say OK, and I'll come up here, and I'll, oops, excuse me, here's the sand wash. We'll come up here, and we'll start clicking down the ride here. Now, what I have to do is actually pull up the window a little bit here. Scroll up the window and I keep clicking away. Scroll over this way. And I can actually roll up with the, the mouse cursor, which is what I just did, or the the little little mouse wheel on the on the mouse. We'll come up a little more. You don't have to be right on the sand wash because I think when we're out there we're kinda gonna understand where the sand wash goes. But uh, anyway, get there and one last right about there, and that's done. Okay, and now we're going to come over here, we're going to highlight it, and we're going to call it wash. Okay, now 
let's go into these editing tools. So we'll zoom out here. Let's go into these editing tools because we want to patch these all together in one track. So I'm going to take this pair of scissors. It's called the Track Divide tool. I'm going to come down. I'm going to highlight this track and I'm going to cut it right there. And I don't want that other piece of that track, so I'm going to, because it's highlighted now, that's the track, I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to take and pull up over here, and we're going to take, let's see, which way do I really want to go? Let me zoom out here. Let's take and we'll actually, hmm, let me see this edge here. Are there any roads near here? We'll actually come right to this point and we'll take roads out of here. So let's cut this track here. We're going to cut there. It looks like that the original piece is what I don't want, which is this red one. I'm not going to want that, so I'll delete that. This piece here I do want. We'll highlight it. We'll actually push Show on Map. There it is. We're only going to want over to this area right here. So I'm going to zoom in on this area and I'm going to cut it right near here. This highlighted part is the one I don't want. I'm pushing delete to get rid of it. Okay. So I'm going to want that one. And we're not going to worry about naming it right now because, frankly, we're going to change the names. Then when we get over here, we're going to figure out how to take, see this road going here? We're going to take that out. So in that case, I don't want this blue one at all, so I'm going to choose the blue one, and I'm going to kill it, get rid of it, delete it. Um, then I'm going to go back in here, and we're going to use the routing tool now to make a track log. The routing tool is way cool because it will follow roads, roads really well for us. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to click here, Notice how it just does it, but mind you, it's creating a route, not a track. I'm going to click all the way out here. I'm going to follow it to uh, to here, basically. And it looks like we don't quite make the road. We'll actually try clicking on the road anyway and see what it does. Well, it went all the way around and found another thing. So this is an important part. We didn't want it to do that. So here, all you do is push Edit undo, poof, we're back to it. We're going to end the route there. We're going to turn the route into a uh, track log with this really cool cool tool called WinGBD3. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here to the routes and I'm going to push cut. So that is going to take and get rid of the route but it puts it in the memory of the of the cursor. It's called the clipboard. It puts it in the memory of the mouse. So cut. So it's gone from our thing, but it's in the memory. Now we're going to pull up this WinGBD and we've got it configured such that it takes the clipboard, which is the memory of the mouse, and at outputs the it takes the input, which we've got. It takes the output. It's going to put it to the clipboard and it's going to do these options. It's going to convert routes to tracks with all the root points. Okay, so I'm just going to push convert. Poof, it just did it. This is so cool and magic. Okay, so then I'm coming back over here and I'm just going to push paste and look what it did. It popped it in here. Here it is as a track log. Isn't that cool? That and so it followed all those roads and made all those points for us and it did it. Okay, now what we're going to do is zoom out a bit and let's put this all into one track. So we're going to start here, and we're going to do the track join tool. Here's track join. Now sometimes it's the wrong end, and so if you do that, here, notice I'll push join from start or join from finish. If I push join from start, it would go to there. I'm going to push join from finish. It goes there. And so we're going to join that one, join this one, join this one, and now we have one track log. It's 590 points. That's the direction we're going to go. But remember, it also made it just a little bit short of the road. I happen to know that looks like that's military property here, which along the road you can just get in and out of. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight it. I'm going to push this draw tool and it's just going to let me click and make some points right over here to the road. 
poof, that's it. I'm done. We put the go back to the pan tool. Actually, let's zoom out. Now have a look at what it looks like. Well, we'll zoom back in. There's our route. It's 596 points long. We can load that directly into our GPS. Now, some of us have the old style GPS. What you're going to want to do is filter it down to 500 points. So you push filter over here. You come over here. You want maximum number of points. We're going to make that 500. OK. We're pushing filter. Oops. We said OK. It did it. It went down to 291 points. OK. We got it. That's what we load directly. And we're going to load that to our GPS by using these send to device tools here. So you connect your GPS to the computer and send it. But um, So that's it. You can save the file or and you can send it to the GPS. Um, but that's some of the highlights of how to make your own track logs. Um, that part's really cool. Uh, enjoy.